Did you know that New York and New Jersey, along with Amtrak, are joining forces to rescue the United States' most vital train line, the Northeast Corridor? Through a gigantic multi-billion dollar construction plan, they aim to expand, enhance, and safeguard the nation's busiest passenger railroad. With an infrastructure that's over a century old, this mega project has been needed for a long time. This place is a total mess, we're going to get it done, says Ray. But how exactly will they tackle this enormous task? Let's find out in this episode of New York. The problem. New York City is home to more than 8.4 million people and has a GDP of $1.2 trillion, making it one of America's most important cities. It's a crucial cultural and economic center on the East Coast. But the city's significance goes beyond these numbers. The greater metro area around it is also vital to the rest of the United States. The New York metropolitan area is one of the busiest transportation hubs in the country. Every day, over a million people commute into the city, not including those leaving or passing through. Take the North River Tunnels, for example. There are two rail tunnels under the Hudson River, connecting New York to New Jersey. These tunnels are crucial for commuter trains and for the Northeast Corridor, which stretches from Washington, D.C. to Boston. Around 450 trains and 200,000 commuters pass through these tunnels daily, making them the busiest stretch of railroad in North America. But here's the catch. These tunnels were built over a century ago and are showing signs of wear and tear, worsened by Hurricane Sandy in 2012. This causes delays and other problems for commuters. Additionally, New York Penn Station, the busiest train hub in the country, is known for its confusing layout and cramped spaces. Fixing these issues might seem simple, but it's not that easy. Repairing and upgrading the tunnels and renovating Penn Station would require significant time and money. Shutting down these vital transportation links for upgrades would cause major disruptions and economic losses for the city, so the government faces the challenge of finding solutions without causing chaos. The Gateway Program The Gateway Program is a comprehensive initiative aimed at enhancing the Northeast Corridor Rail Line, connecting New York and Manhattan. Launched in 2011 by Amtrak's President Joseph Boardman and New Jersey Senators Frank Lautenberg and Robert Menendez, this multi-phase project aims to address various issues plating the rail infrastructure. Components of the program include the overhaul of the dock bridge near Newark Penn Station, the replacement of the aging sawtooth bridges, and the modernization of the portal bridge. Additionally, expansions are planned for Secaucus Junction to accommodate the Bergen Loop, enabling direct routes to New York from Bergen County and Passaic Valley. Furthermore, critical repairs are slated for the deteriorating North River tunnels, which have been a major cause of delays following the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy in 2012. While these projects are still in the planning stages and require substantial funding, they are essential for improving the efficiency and reliability of rail transportation in the Northeast region. New Hudson River Tunnel When it comes to the Gateway Program, the most crucial part is the new river tunnel. It's expected to be one of the most expensive public works projects in America, costing around $16.1 billion. However, this investment is still less than what other countries have put into their rail systems. Europe, for example, has invested over a trillion dollars in the past 20 years, while America has only invested $120 billion in the last 50 years. The plan to build a new tunnel isn't new. It was part of an earlier project called the Access to the Region's Core, RC, which got canceled in 2010 due to politics. But now, with the Gateway Program, they're moving forward. Instead of building two new tunnels, there will be one new tunnel with two tracks, plus two renovated old tunnels. Construction is already underway, with the new tunnel being dug about a mile away from the existing one to avoid disruptions to train service. Most of the work will be underground, so it won't affect daily life on the surface much. The project is complex and requires massive investments, but with federal funding secured and construction already started, there's no turning back. The new tunnel is expected to be finished by 2035, with the old tunnels fully renovated by 2038. Penn Station Upgrade New York Penn Station, known for its cramped and dark spaces, is finally getting a major makeover. After many failed attempts, a new $7 billion plan was approved in 2021 by the state government. 
the redesign aims to create a more open and bright station with natural light flooding in. It will also have more entrances, escalators, and tunnels to make it easier for people to get around. With triple the number of passengers since the 1960s, the station desperately needs these changes. However, the new design doesn't address the limited number of train tracks, which were built over a century ago. Governor Hochtel acknowledges this issue, but for now, the focus is on making the station more pleasant for passengers. There are still ongoing discussions about additional train tracks and platforms, so the final plan may change. Overall, the transformation of Penn Station will improve commuting for thousands of people, providing faster and more reliable service. But whether it will solve all the station's problems remains to be seen. What do you think about the Gateway program? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this detailed video, subscribe to Supreme Projects for more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.